how much things cost living in Gambia beauty edition. For those of you that are new here, my name is Zandela and this channel is all about my journey of moving myself and my family from living in West London over to live in West Africa, Gambia. video I'm going to be covering some of the monthly beauty treatments that I get living here in Gambia and how much they cost so if you are someone who is living in Gambia or you're curious about what type of services they offer here then keep watching every two to three weeks I get my lashes done and this costs 2,000 delassies which is about 23 pounds or about 29 dollars I'm a girly that likes to get her nails done so every two weeks I go and get myself a full set of nails and also a pedicure and this costs about £10, $13 to get the nails done and it costs roughly about the same to get the pedicure. For me, I only get my pedicure done once a month. There's really no need to get it done every two weeks when I get my nails done. But walking around these streets in Gambia really do mess with your feet so for me it's important that I take care of them. Every few months, or sometimes shorter, sometimes longer, I go and get my hair done by a beautiful lady called Maria. This lady really does take care of your natural hair and can do any braid style you want. All you have to do is show her a picture and she can do it for you. She is really affordable and her salon is inside her home or at the side of her home. And as you know, Gambian's love language is food they want to feed you so whenever i get my hair done they truly do take care of you and do not stop offering to give you food mm, that may be the reason why i actually go there <laughs> it's really difficult to give you the cost of the services that she offers but trust me it's really affordable these braids that cost me over 500 pounds in the uk only wanted to charge me about 15 pounds I ended up giving her about the equivalent of £45 because, let's face it, that is super, super cheap in comparison to what I paid in the UK. And she was standing over my head for nine hours. There is no way that I could pay her £15, £20. My guilty pleasure here is Coco Ocean Spa. Anybody who knows me, if I tell you I need a break or I need some time away, you will find me down at Coco Ocean. My skin looks so old. <laughs> Coco Ocean is actually one of Gambia's most popular five-star hotels, but I actually only go and use the spa facilities because the spa is beautiful. I go there probably on a monthly basis to get my full body massage and also get myself a facial. When you go there, you are allowed to stay there for as long as you want, as long as you've used the spa and the grounds are just beautiful. So it's nice to just chill out, relax, and spend some quality time with yourself. Or with friends, we often go there as a group of girls if it's someone's birthday or we just wanna get away and relax. Again, it's hard to give you a price of absolutely everything that is on their menu and I couldn't find the actual menu online, but it is very affordable. A massage probably costs about 2,000 delassies. Laser hair removal is probably my least favorite beauty treatment that I get done here in Gambia, but it is essential. Unfortunately, I suffer from PCOS and I have male, for, male pattern hair growth on my chin and upper lip. So I have to go there on a monthly basis to get it done, but I find it extremely painful and I cannot wait for my 10 sessions to be finished. I only get my upper lip done and my chin and that cost me 2,000 delassies for both of them, which is equivalent again to about 23 pounds or about $29. Oh my God, I think that's up too high. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, it's awful. I can't say no more. I These people know that I am a complete baby when it comes to pain. So when I start screaming time out, they literally just continue. But I actually never last a full 15 minute session. I usually get to about seven, eight minutes and then that is truly it, I'm done. I also get my eyebrow waxing done at Studio Imagine because when either I get threading, I get a horrible rash around my eyebrows. So I never get threading done anymore. And I prefer to pay that little bit extra to go and get the waxing done. I find it a lot more cleaner as well. That's it guys, thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you wanna know the cost of things living in Gambia.